Zapraszam Was już 6 kwietnia na konferencję z prorokiem. Kim jest prorok Artur Hagin? Zobacz sam. You are going to see power like you've never seen power. Experience wonders like you've never experienced wonders. There are those who copy me as your grandfather. And they can claim that I'm their father. But I don't know them. But I know him. He's not a copycat. He's another version of me. This one is not a copycat. Is another vision of me. You see me, you see him. You see him, you see me. Jeśli potrzebujesz cudu lub precyzyjnego kierunku, obejrzyj to wideo. Jest na to rozwiązanie. There is a signature that God is about to imprint on your life, which shall betray you everywhere you go that you are not alone. I said you are not alone. No one of the magicians went to Pharaoh and they said no, no, no. Manifestacje Ducha Świętego. We have the school of magic in Egypt, but the way God is doing His things, this is the finger of God. This is the finger of God. Po raz pierwszy w Warszawie, prorok Artur Hagin, jeden z największych proroków w Afryce. Po proroctwie otrzymał samochód. Był biedny, gdy prorok powiedział mu, że będzie podpisywał wielomilionowe kontrakty. A on właśnie to robi. Jej gabinet kosmetyczny zaczął prosperować po tym, jak przyjęła prorocze słowo. Właśnie zmieniła Nissana na Mercedesa. Bądź tego częścią. Zapisz się na konferencję Znaki i Cuda. Bądź z nami w sobotę, 6 kwietnia na Elektronowej 10 i 7 kwietnia w niedzielę na Dzierżoniowskiej 11. Też tam będę. Zapraszam z 6 i 7. Alleluja. You see this, right? That's how tithe is written in the Hebrew. Now, this letter makes it what? A noun is maser, that's tithe. Now, that means if we remove that letter, we are left with a verb or another form of the word. Let's remove that first letter that makes maser, it says rich. Hallelujah. Now nah, they didn't get that. I wish I thought people were gonna really get this thing. Some people is getting in bit by bit now, bit by bit is getting in. The moment you change tithe in the Hebrew from tithe and remove the noun form of it, it tells you rich. I don't need to be telling you that tells you when you tithe you get rich. I wish I had people here. It's not the tithe that will bring you money. It's your eyes after you tithe. Jeez. The Holy Ghost himself proves us up. He's a go. Rina no 
consigo Ande su componente Y la no siga Y la sola chica Por la casa de amor one preaches this one preaches another one preaches and another one preaches and and everybody is preaching but few people are demonstrating the power of god we are talking too much now i want to demonstrate it We want a demonstration of power. No kululu, no kalala, talking too much. And you can't do nothing. Hello, once again, my father, Prophet Iberenjo, this is your son, Prophet Shepard Bushiri. It is just overwhelming and amazing seeing how God has taken you all this journey to where you are today. Three things I've learned from you. Number one, I've learned how to pray. Number two, I've learned how to understand the scriptures. And number three, I've learned how to fear God and live according to his will and also to live according to what God wants us to do. You are an amazing father, a spiritual entity that God has raised in a such time like this to be a blessing to so many people. I have a TV station today because of you. I have a great wide understanding of business enterprise because of your teaching. And I have all wonderful and amazing home and family because of your teachings and as well of your mentorship. You are just an amazing man and an amazing spiritual father. From Malawi, this is your son, Sheba. I wish you a wonderful, happy birthday. I love you. A lot of them it has affected them in so many different ways some of them they've lost, lost their houses they have lost their cars some of them has become sick you know some of them are under depression you know there's a lady who actually got a stroke because she lost everything that she had some of them got to a place where they were on the brink of divorce you know and so it has impacted so many people in different ways you know some of them could not send their kids to school anymore there was a couple that i spoke to nell spread and it has changed their lifestyle all because they believed that this investment was going to change their life which it never did uh, i've been going to ecg from 2014 yeah yes until such time uh, major one told us we we 
to, to go to meet him at, at Holt A. And then he did came to address us. He said, you know, uh, my children, you know, I'm a billionaire. Say, you know, I'm driving a, jet, a private jet. We say, yes. Say, yeah, you know, I want to take you along with. He said, no, you must come and investment on, on the commodity and the forex. If you got a, a million rand, this thing, it will double. It will be two million this month. Next month, it will be four. Just like that, it will yeah. grow like that. So, and then uh, we indeed on, the, on, on March, and then they, they call us to come and, 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 and put, yes, they, put uh, money there, you know. And then by then he said he wants cash. Firstly, he said, you know, I've got a good news and a bad news. Oh. So he asked us, what, uh, where must I start? Must, must I start with hmm. the bad or the good? Uh, and then the church said, so oh, we want the good first. I'm having two things. Good news and the bad news. Oh yes. Which one must I start with? Good news. You are ready for the good news? The good news is, I know some of you, all you want is about yourself. This thing I want to tell you, it's not about you. This is good news, it's not about you. It's about ECJ. I'm having good news. The good news is we have managed, I have managed to secure 500 million for the construction, for the construction of the church. Now let's go to the bad news now. Can you go to the bad news? The bad news is that money, 500 million is still in your pocket. And then, you know, we felt that you want to be part of this church. And then the money which I've paid is this one. Here is the proof. How much was it? It was 100,000. There was this one-on-one -on -one issue. So, one-on-one -on -one issue, you know, I said, okay, because my things are not going all right. My wife, she, she, she was sick. Uh, she had uh, cancer. Mm. So I said, no, no, no. Hey, let me take my wife to one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. So we went there. Instead, it was one-on-one -on -one name. We were many, yep. thousands and thousands of people. So that one-on-one, -on -one, he couldn't talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. We were paying 10,000 rand. Yes. 10,000 rand, I don't know. I went more than seven times. Yeah. I took my wife. We went there. Nothing has happened until my wife she's i lost my wife yeah i don't have a wife now on monthly basis there will be an income and it's on a uh, forex trade and commodity that money will generate an income on monthly basis and a good amount of 26 percent and that investment you'll make millions while you are sitting at your house drinking coffee and if these are not platforms where you say if i put the money will i lose no these are platforms when you invest, you go home and sit down and relax and drink coffee and have millions entering your account. But unfortunately, till date, I never received such money. Then I try by all means, all avenues in church at ECG, not here. Uh, I couldn't get help to the extent that uh, my wife, she ended up uh, died. What have you lost? 111,100 rand and 20,000. I'm on everywhere, every day. Bank is calling me to pay their money. And even in the house, there's no food, nothing. And everything is stuck.
I felt to come here and do this wonderful work. It's a wonderful thing to do what God wants us to do. God wants us to give. There's nobody who is too rich that they can't receive and nobody who is too poor that they can't give. Look at that. This is incredible. Her left hand is growing. It has even exceeded her right. Watch as a man of God evens them out. Surely, God is using his servant, Prophet Shepherd Bashiri, so mightily in the supernatural. In ECG, on Sunday, we give our tithes with or without coronavirus. We have pastors who I have seen their shouting out why is prophet bushiri calling for offering in the church why why okay if you don't believe in offering in your church can you send those members of your church who believe in offering to come and give to our church we are still collecting offering in ecg and we will not stop because this is what we believe they're coming right now they're coming from different nations different countries people sending their proof of payments and i'm printing them the whole day and i'll, I'll be praying for them the way i'm doing i'm touching these prayer points myself personally and not only that i'm also you know if you send just send on the number that is moving the whatsapp number that is moving on the screen or for whatsapp send your proof of payment now and i will print it here and i'm praying for it right away for financial breakthrough for healing for deliverance I break every demonic power. I set you free, your family. I receive. Receive your deliverance. I receive. Receive your healing. I receive. Ja mam władzę, bo ja jestem władzą. Ja mam władzę, bo ja jestem Chrystusem na tej ziemi. Namaszczonym na tej ziemi. Pomazanym na tej ziemi. Jestem człowiekiem, który podróżuje i, i uwalnia, uzdrawia, prorokuje i, i tak dalej. Ale i chciałbym dzisiaj, żebyście nakarmili się tym słowem, które mam dla was. Że my wszyscy jesteśmy Chrystusami. Jestem Bogiem tej ziemi. Bo to dzięki Jego dzieł staliśmy się Bogami. Chciałbym dzisiaj rozmawiać na temat prawa przyciągania, Bożego prawa przyciągania. Bóg działa w Twoim życiu tylko poprzez prawo przyciągania.
Zacznijmy od tego, że przyciąganie myślami opiera się na prawie przyciągania, które głosi, że do swojego życia przyciągamy to, na czym najczęściej skupiamy swoje myśli. Myśl pozytywnie będzie Ci dane, myśl o forsie będzie Ci dane, myśl wiesz, ten to przyciągniesz, przyciągniesz to, co myślisz. Prawda. So, if you are here with your witchy curiosities and questions, I am here to answer them as I go through my own personal journey into witchcraft, coming from coaching and knowing about mysticism and the law of attraction into witchcraft. It's a fun little journey. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use spells. Możemy przyciągać zarówno dobre jak i złe rzeczy. Nasze myśli, wypowiadane słowa i nasze nastawienie mają ogromną moc. Więc ty przyciągniesz wszystko. Choroby przyciągniesz, ubóstwo przyciągniesz, ale przyciągniesz zdrowie. I ty też możesz przyciągnąć błogosławieństwo. All right, so if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I have taught for quite a few years about the law of attraction. How to manifest your desires into physical existence. Zrozumy to. Prawo przyciągania jest od Boga. Co przyciągasz, tak masz. Przyciągasz według własnego rodzaju. I teraz fałsz nie polega na tym, że to jest diabeł. Mam nawet znajomą, która dzięki prawu przyciągania mieszka w swoim domu ze snów. Jeżeli jesteśmy w stanie przyciągnąć myślami nową pracę, problemy... I teraz ja chcę rozwalić tą rzecz, bo ludzie mówią New Age, nowe myślenie, wiecie. Mam do was pytanie. Czy diabeł coś wymyślił kiedykolwiek? Czy diabeł jest w ogóle twórcą? Kto jest twórcą? Bóg. Bóg jest twórcą. Co diabeł robi? Kradnie. Więc jeżeli coś diabeł ma, Bóg miał po pierwsze. Zgodzicie się z tym? Czyli przykładowo, jeżeli diabeł ma złoty pył, na przykład są buddyści, oni się modlą, wchodzą w, siedmie, w siódmy stan w ogóle jakiegoś tam skupienia i złoto na nich leci. My się modlimy raz z bratem, modlimy się do Ducha Świętego, halleluja, szaka baba, złoto na nas leci. Rozumiesz? I ludzie mówią, demon przyszedł! A ja mówię, jaki demon? Jeżeli demon to ma, to Bóg to też ma. Claim to be a witch, then? Uh, a male witch? You Certainly, are. but not a white witch, not like some of these people that have been on various shows that bend over backwards trying to convince everyone how good they are. They never perform black magic, only white magic. I think this is ridiculous. Could you make that? Because Anton LaVey of the First Church of Satan, I think he was on yeah. your program one time. Yeah, long time. He said, and I agree with him, he said, really, there's only witchcraft. He said, black and white is a misnomer. There's only two poles of power. Either it is God, or it is the devil. God has nothing to do with witchcraft. 